One of the things that can make the biggest difference in someone's first impression of your home at Christmas time is decorating the stairway. Most homes, if it's more than one floor, have a beautiful stairway or a sizable, noticeable stairway near the front door. This is a lot of real estate. A lot of people don't decorate this at all, or if they do, they just decorate very simply because they think, oh my gosh, this is huge. How do I do that? I'm gonna show you how to do it very simply, very easily, and it is going to be wow when it's done. Trust me, your friends, you're gonna to need to pick their jaw up off the floor, off the floor when they walk in your house. But first of all, I just wanna go over one thing. Number one, what you're gonna see throughout the video is that we have it from the bottom all the way to the top. So this is two nine foot garlands. If you're going up the stairway, it's good to have longer garlands. You're probably gonna need them. This is to position and these are for insurance. One of the things to remember is before you start zhuzhing your garland, get it in exactly the position you want it in. I know you're saying, well, that's on my stairway. I know that, but what happens is, is that if you put this on your stairway and then you decide, no, I want to make this one, I wanna make them a little longer, I wanna have fewer um, places where it attaches, you know, longer strength, lengths of garland draping, that changes how the garland lays. So if you zhuzh it and then you put it up and then you wanna change it, the garland will change how it drapes and you'll have to do it again. Also remember that when you start decorating a garland, it's gonna naturally come forward. So whatever you do, zhuzh up, attach a few around the back of the spindles on the stairway to make sure it stays up. And then when you put things on it, it won't go all the way underneath. This is called a garland grabber and it's made to fit over the banister. It has a little non-stick under here so it doesn't scratch and it stays put and your garland's gonna go right here. This is what I've been using for a number of years but I wanna let you know there's something very important when you're using these, they will break. Here's how to keep that from happening as much as possible. This one's already on the stair and you can see that the garland is in it. The garland is right down here. When you're using these, Put your fingers on either side. Can you see that? Put your fingers on either side of that garland grabber. If you're, pull, if you're taking it out, then hold the top with your thumb, pull up with your two fingers. I know it sounds simple, but I'm telling you, <laughs> otherwise you are gonna break more than you want to. Hold with your thumb, come up with your two fingers. When you're putting it in, keep it close to the back. Make sure you're skimming the back of the garland grabber so that you're never pushing this part forward back and down. Then you're not gonna break it. What breaks it is stretching it that way. Now, because I put a lot on them and I don't want them to fall because I've had it happen, I take one of these. I know that was close, sorry, that was a really up close and personal look. And I put it around the banister like this. I know that now I have it attached two ways, but a little insurance is a good thing and I've had this thing fall down completely fully loaded and it wasn't pretty. So this is how you position, this is your insurance. So I'm making progress with adding the swags next. I put it up, I made sure it was positioned correctly, I did all the zhuzhing and now I'm adding the swags. I already put up a couple so you can get an idea of where I'm going. If you want to, you can also use the fruit garlands um, with the swags and kind of alternate or you can put them together. I have a lot of the swag so I'm gonna use them. The great thing about it is covers a lot of space with one piece. And what you're gonna do, once again, is you're just gonna make a trough. And because I don't want it to fall forward, I'm gonna kind of alternate how they lay. So one's gonna come up and one's gonna come down and one's gonna come up, you get the idea. So you're gonna put it right into the garland. There you go. Reach underneath, make the little trough. Always put one through the end. There you go. And then kind of clear a space. Feel underneath, clear a space where it's gonna go. So you push it right down. And then when you get it where you want it, you just start pulling some branches up and some branches down. It's important to pull branches both directions because if you don't, it will fall one direction or the other. And you don't have to wrap it around, you can just wrap it 
through. That one's going down. This one is going up. And you can see how that's going to work. Wait, almost there. There you go. So a lot of space, one piece. How easy is that? Okay, making progress. P.S. And by the way, right now in real time, it's midnight. <laughs> and someday I'm going to learn to not leave this stuff until late at night. But anyway, uh, I got have all the, all the fruit in and I put a couple bows in and I'm going to finish out the end. Now, one of my problems is that this garland set of two garlands wasn't quite long enough. I really wanted to go all the way down. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I have three more garland grabbers right here. I'm going to take this swag, which obviously doesn't match because this is battery operated, but I'm not going to use the lights on it. And I'm going to attach it to the end. So I just took two branches, made a loop out of them. I'm going to put that right on the center one. Then I'm going to make sure that the battery box is behind. And I'm going to take a little twist tie. I don't even know if you can see me right now <laughs> because I'm bending down. Okay. So that's done. But now I want to kind of cover it up. So what I'm going to do is take a fruit garland and put that down one side. Another fruit garland, put it on the other side. Then I'm going to put them both like this. I'm going to cross them at the bottom. So now I have the greenery in back where I need it and the fruit in front. I'm going to take a twist tie. I'm going to go around, hypothetically speaking. Okay. It's good to go under the leaves so they cover everything up. Do a twist tie here. Okay. Now I have the bow. The bow for the end. Oof. I kind of messed up that bow. Oof. All right, I think when we're done, I'm going to have to do a little work on the bow. I'm going to take the bow and put it right here. So now I have the theme of the burlap bows going all the way down. This was some ribbon that I did for my collection last year and I absolutely love it still. I just think it's some of the prettiest ribbon I've seen. The garland's gonna come down. The ribbons are gonna come down. I'll mess with these. I'll put a few pieces of leaves and branches in and I'm just about done. One of the things that I have a lot of are different types of branches because I like to use them in everything. The branch picks, I'm sure you remember those. And so I try to number them on this garland, but then I always like to try something new. I had just ordered these off the internet and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to use them because they're kind of a pewtery color. I thought they were gold when I ordered them and you know how much I love gold. Um, but they're actually kind of a, a pewter, take that tag off, champagne kind of color. And unfortunately, the quality of them is not good. So I have to be really, really careful with them. But I've been putting them in between the, the fruit that's already on here. And I think that it really kind of makes it very fresh and very soft. So I'm very ecstatic about it. I'm going to go ahead and do this one more. I'm almost done. Obviously, it's a little long, so I'm going to cut that off. And these are substantial. Okay. Then I'm going to very carefully, this is what I mean when it comes to the quality. I would love to do something like this 
for my own Christmas line, but I would definitely make sure that it's better quality. These are glued together and, oh, but they're still pretty when you get them done. But you got to do a little TLC and just kind of straighten out the leaves. There you go. Bend them all to the front. Has that kind of taupey velvet on it that I think is very pretty with silver. And then the leaves are more of a champagne. There you go. Okay. Now I want it to go here. And this one was kind of, yeah, I do want to go this way. So I'm going to bend it a little before I put it in. And then I'm going to try to figure out the best place for it to go where I can kind of blend it in. Mm, I don't think that's going to go that way. I think it's going to have to go that way. This goes here. Angle this down. Oof, this one is not cooperating. That's how it always works. The last one doesn't cooperate. <laughs> it will cooperate. I will make it cooperate. See? I'm making it cooperate. There's no idea who it's dealing with. Okay. And I will zhuzh that to cover up that piece of branch. A little bit later on but I love the fact that this is a very unusual color combination I have warm and rose and beautiful golds in the fruit the deep green of the garland and then this beautiful soft velvety taupe and the champagne and a hint of silver and I think it makes it look absolutely amazing oh very nice so I'm gonna get everything cleaned up I'm going to put all the poinsettias around it, and then I'll give you a look at the final garland. After decorating a garland, the perfect complement is the poinsettias. I love just finishing the stair with them, and the rich red is just gorgeous. It's very elegant, very strong, all the way around the bottom and up the other side. And this is the garland. Isn't it gorgeous? And this is the finished product. I love walking in the house and having this greet you when you come in the front door. I just think it's a gorgeous combination of soft colors, pewter, gold, the lights. It goes all the way up to the top and all the way back down to the bottom. I added the large ornaments hanging from the bottom of the garland and the poinsettias that go up and down the stairway and are at the base. But that is a welcome home. 